Hey, so guys, in this video, I'm going to show you layered MIDI editing. So I have three synths here. One is this, one is this, and one is this. All right, so I'm going to double click to add MIDI clips for each of them. And they're all default to gray, so I'm going to give them different colors. I like purple, purple, green, and red. All right, cool. So what you want to do is you just, you just double click on the actual clip, and you can have it here. And you click this little hamburger guy again, or it looks like a stacked up bunch of layery things, which is cool. And uh, you double click, and you have, it doesn't look like it splits up, and you're like, what the heck's going on here? Uh, you have to look up, and you have purple, green, and red here. And you select them via um, your uh, selector kind of tool here. You make sure all the eyeballs are on, and that's good. So we're going to start with, uh, I guess, the 303. And we can select them here. Okay. So it's all on one screen. All right, I'm just going to do that. And let's see. Let's just make something interesting. I don't want to make it too busy, and you know, I'm not really that well versed in like music theory. I kind of suck, but whatever. Alright, so let's uh, go an octave up. This is C. We're gonna go C here. and make them all kind of nice and neat. So let's go to the top one here. That'd be purple. And we'll have this one here. It's just a good way to kind of have a bunch of things all up on the screen at once. Like traditionally, if you wanted to kind of change things around, you would have to select each clip, and you and you wouldn't know uh, the continuity uh, like between what each of these is doing. But now you can just by boom layering it up. And it's a good way if you want to like have like a, a bass. And then a lead, you can have the relationship. You can physically see the relationship kind of on the keyboard. And you wouldn't have to do anything weird like, you know, splitting the keyboard or doing any of that. You can have it all in one window. And that's pretty pretty powerful. And I wish I knew music theory better because then I'd be able to show you. But, you know. So, yeah. And you can switch sounds around and find something that uh, tickles your fancy. All right, uh, hope you learned stuff and uh, take care.